next generation of scientific innovation. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2016 Blavatnik National Awards for Young Scientists. Well, welcome finalists. It's an honor again to be here with you to celebrate another outstanding uh, array of scientific innovators with this great audience. Every year, the Blavatnik scholars expand into what is becoming the most extraordinary family of young innovators on the planet. And this year, we're celebrating a landmark. It's our 10th anniversary of the awards. These young people are chosen not only for the work that they've already completed, but for the promise of what their future endeavors will bring. So we had to select the very best of the very best. Blavatnik scholars, congratulations to all of you and each of you. You are a most amazing group of national finalists. We have been very warmly welcomed this evening into this magnificent room. The blue whale dangling precariously above us all. And this evening's celebration is very much about the spirit of exploration that draws young scientists to dive beneath the surface. Let me especially single out the chairman of the Blavatnik Family Foundation, Len Blavatnik, who is here with his wife, Emily, and his mother, Larissa. Could we please give Len, Emily, and Marissa a round of applause? Well, what an exciting evening. I, I'm deeply thrilled to be part of it especially to be asked to introduce this remarkable biochemist, certainly one of the finest of his generation. Dr. Michael Rapa has identified the intricate protein acrobatics of ubiquitin. The broad scope of the impact of this work has the potential to impact hundreds of disease states and millions upon millions of lives. The 2016 Blavatnik National Laureate in Life Sciences, Dr. Michael Rapa. Receiving this recognition early in our careers is great motivation, encouraging us to keep asking those difficult questions, tackling those risky projects, those projects that, if we find answers to them, transform our understanding of disease mechanisms. Thank you very much, um, Len and Emily, for that. So what we try to understand are the mechanisms that tell a growing body which type of cell to make, when and where. We started this project nine years ago in the back of the lab because it was supposed to be the crazy project. Now we are doing this um, in a thriving biotech company. And the reason why we do this in this setting is that this new approach to drug discovery actually works beautifully well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Phil Barron has pioneered in methods to produce new medicines in useful amounts. Not only has he showed this in his own work, but he's taught other chemists how to use his newly invented methods, earning him the moniker, the Sultan of Synthesis. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honor to present to you the 2016 Blavatnik National Laureate in Chemistry, an exemplary young scientist, Dr. Phil Barron. It's so great to be here tonight. I want to thank the Blavatnik family for their incredible foresight and generosity in making this event happen. It's going to be transformative for our laboratory. Now, the great thing about organic chemistry is that it impacts your life in every way. You can't escape it. We invented a series of reagents that would actually enable people to take radicals off the shelf and add them to their mixtures to get useful compounds. Many of these compounds are now sold. They sell quite a bit. Uh, there's over 100 of these different products available that are in use today at large pharmaceutical companies. So let me end with a quote from Barry Sharpless. He says brazenly, most scientific method stuff is oversold. Real scientists are just curious as hell. So thank you, Mr. Vlatnik, for making this possible. He is truly an extraordinary scientist whose work will continue to influence the field for generations to come. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great privilege to now introduce you to 
the 2016 Blavatnik National Laureate in Physical Sciences and Engineering, Dr. David Charbonneau. What would it mean to learn that we're not alone in the universe? MIRTH is a robotic array of telescopes, and what they do is we have a list of the very closest stars to us, humanity's closest neighbors, and we survey them every night. And let me show you what it's like when we discover a planet. I really believe we might be the first generation in human history that actually remotely could detect the chemical evidence for life, such as oxygen. I want to thank Len Blavatnik and the Blavatnik family. They've reminded us that learning about the universe in which we all inhabit is a celebration. So I want to thank them for making science fun. And I've had a lot of fun here tonight. Thank you. We will make a toast to the distinguished 2016 Blavatnik National Finalists and Laureates and the spirit of discovery that they represent to the 10th anniversary of the Blavatnik Awards for young scientists. Ladies and gentlemen, let's salute all of this as we raise our glasses to that most important thing of all, to science. Ladies and gentlemen, to science.